Boss says I should quit because I like spending time on hobbies, so I did. I was working for a startup engineering firm working as a piping design engineer. But since it was a startup firm, we didn't have a lot of manpower and the ones we had weren't as qualified either. I was one of the very few qualified enough to handle a team of my own. The boss trusted me with almost everything. I was like the second in command after the boss only because I was managing a lot of things on the side as a voluntary basis. Things like paycheck balancing, client meetings, quality assurance, documentation, and other stuff which he should had hired someone else to do. I was good at it and he took full advantage of it by giving me things to do that never was under my job description. One day he had this bright idea that we should revamp our website to attract more clients. And he gave this project to his nephew who just graduated from college as a developer of sorts. After a week or so the nephew came up with the first draft of the website and the boss was fairly disappointed as it didn't look anywhere near to what he expected. He then called me in and asked me if I knew anything about website design. At that time I was very much interested on UI, UX and was doing an online course to learn about it more. So I told him that I'll see what I can do. I spent the next week full making a proper information architecture, wire frames and color guidelines that the nephew could pick up and build the website from scratch. In the end the website looked futuristic and the boss was pretty happy. But during the week my other responsibilities were put in a backlog and it just kept piling on. I knew I would be able to cover it once I'm done with the website and didn't pay too much attention to it. The next week my boss caught up with backlog and called me into his cabin. He started yelling at me for all the responsibilities that I didn't attend to. I calmly told him that I was working on the website and it's not a big deal. Told him that I would clear it out as soon as possible. But he wasn't happy. He asked me why I spent so much time doing something that isn't even my responsibility. I told him that I was learning about UI, UX and was pretty much interested to learn more. I obviously never thought about perusing it as a career because frankly I was a mechanical engineer by qualification and didn't think jumping to IT would be easy. The boss snapped and told me that I should quit and parow my hobby as a living. He said that only then I will understand how lucky I am to have a job that pays. I kind of got offended because 1. He doesn't even pay me the worth of things I do for the company and 2. He knew I could cover and yet took this as an opportunity to discipline me. I stepped out of this cabin, went to my desk and put in my resignation and went home. He called me a couple of times asked me to revoke my resignation and then made other people from the organization call me to convince me to come back. I wasn't having it at all. It's been two years now. I decided to pursue UI, UX as a career now and am working as a product designer in one of the biggest organizations in the country with a pay that's almost 300% more than what I was getting as a mechanical engineer. Hey op, can you do this for me? Quote, sure this even relates to a hobby of mine. Quote, op, your other work is slipping because of that thing I ask you to do. Maybe you shouldn't be spending so much time on hobbies. Quote, like how many times did his parents drop him as a baby? I see no logic in the boss thinking process and action. When you have an employee that does way more than they were hired to because why pay someone else? To do it when you can get an employee to do the extra work for no extra pay. You don't challenge them to quit. Funny how things like that work out. Kudos to you for not being bullied and sticking to your guns. In 2009 I was fired from a job for laughing at the owner of a 50M per year company because he told me. I was lucky to have a job at his company. 
Just a few years later I was making 120% more with another company that was happy to have my skill. Set. I hope you emailed him a thank you letter. Hey man, I really want to thank you for your advice to quit and spend time on my hobbies. I am now make triple the pay you were giving me. And one third the work you piled on me with no regard of my job description. Or even if I was being paid fairly for doing the work of five people. Quote. Sounds like a win to me well, for op old boss, not so much. Thank you all for a great response. To all the people asking about the company's whereabouts. The last project I was working on had to be pulled back and the organization had to pay a huge penalty for not being able to deliver as promised. Which wasn't enough because then COVID hit and they to reduce pay for all the employees which then lead to all the staff leaving gradually. The company went bankrupt last year due to not being able to keep up financially during COVID. A guy the first worked with always said, the worst thing I ever did for my career was learn how to do anything. Beatings will continue until staff moral improves. Glad to hear that you knew you worth and for choosing to chase your dreams. Way to go. Know your worth. You deleted all the UX design stuff you made for him before you left, right? Revoke your resignation? Uh-huh. Is the startup still around? I'm guessing, no? I love these. 1. Get mad and give discipline, with tips, of career choices. Point 2. Get dumbfounded that the worker does just that. Point 3. Unprofit from not getting profit. Because that worker was the main person of important stuff. Your boss played a stupid game and won a stupid prize. Congratulations on your new job. Classic. Cause he wants to control you he thinks he owns you. Newsflash he doesn't. Someone else is always willing to pay you for work without the disrespect. His loss not yours. I want to know what happened to the company. I obviously never thought about perusing it as a career because frankly I was a mechanical engineer by qualification and didn't think jumping to IT would be easy. The prerequisites for working in programming or IT are the abilities to think analytically and the ability to learn new things. The majority of what I learned in university is already outdated, and the most useful skills I have are ones I learned on the job. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.